there was a starving horse there and he was down in the corner and I wanted him so I bought him <laughs> for fifty dollars I brought him home and fattened him up and then I sold him to somebody for fifty dollars which is what I paid and then I put that money in a can to save another horse and so it went and I saved one horse at a time I decided to dedicate my life to offering asylum to the unwanted abused, neglected, and misunderstood. Most abuse that happens is not black-hearted. It's ignorant. Nothing should be born to die. To create a life and consider the life the byproduct of, of that creation makes absolutely no sense to me. There is no gift too large and there is no gift too small. It all translates into medicine and food for these animals. If I only have a thousand dollars, I will o I will only have enough horses here to feed with a thousand dollars. If I have a hundred thousand dollars, I will divide that up among them. It's you know it's never easy running a nonprofit. I have to turn away between five and twenty horses a day. I just don't have the room and I just don't have the finances. But the ones that are here get the best of treatment. It's a lot of work, but I love it. My eyes pop open every morning. I am excited to get out there and do what I do and see the progress in these animals. One time somebody asked me uh, if I could be rewarded for this, if I could have anything I wanted, what would I want? And I thought and I said, I'd want to be able to do this forever. I'd, I'd want not to be able, not to have to worry every month if we're still going to be here. That would be the best reward on earth, just to keep going.